Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go over a unique feature that Leonardo AI has that comes inbuilt with it. And that is the prompt generator. It is hidden inside the AI image generation section right here. Before I get started, make sure you're whitelisted on the Leonardo AI app. And if you don't know what that means, look at the first video here where I show you everything on how to get set up. There might be a longer wait due to an influx of users, but you will get an account soon. Like my other videos, I'll have the timestamps for all the sections mentioned in the description below. All right, let's get started. So today I'm going to try out some generations which are not about portraits. Most of the trending items are actually just portraits of people which have nothing to do with games, which makes sense because you can now use AI art tools to create portraits like these. However, Leonardo AI is actually specialized for game assets. So today I'm going to try to generate some prompts using the prompt generator, but I'm going to gear it towards video game assets, which was why Leonardo AI was created in the first place. So here on the community feed, I'm going to search access. So these look more like video game characters than just portraits for the heck of being a portrait. For example, let's look at this one. So it's a pirate character with runic tattoos and two axes, and there's a lot of other details provided. However, assume that I don't know anything about what's, what's VFX, what's CGI, and I don't know how to create this. What I can do is I can provide this section, a pirate character with runic tattoos and two axes, and go to my image generator tool. And you see, I was using a different prompt previously. I use this functionality quite a bit and I recommend you to do the same. If you're in the middle of a different prompt and you don't know how to like clear this, this is how you do it. Reset to defaults. Everything's gone. Everything's back to normal. So with this prompt, I'm going to go here and instead of typing the prompt here, I'm going to come to the prompt generation section and I'm going to do two generations and provide that prompt here. So I have a pirate character with runic tattoos and two axes. You're allowed to generate a thousand prompts every month. And this is this resets every month, not every 30 days. So you see, this is almost the end of Feb and this, this will reset in five days. So I have 994 more prompts left this month. And in the first of March, I'm gonna have a thousand more. So now with this prompt, now with this simple prompt, I'm gonna generate two different ideas using this ID8 button. And let's see what it gives me. The first one is a fierce pirate with a menacing gaze adorned with intricate runic tattoos and brandishing two axes. A swashbuckling pirate with a wild mane of hair adorned with mysterious runic tattoos and wielding two axes with a menacing glint in their eyes. Very interesting. So let me try using one of these and put it right back here. Now I'm going to click ID it again. A fearsome pirate stands atop a ship's mast. Her gaze. Oh, it's, it's assuming it's a woman now horizon as her intricate runic tattoos glimmer in the moonlight she holds two axes in her hands ready to defend her crew so the prompt has more things to work with a wild-eyed pirate stands on the deck of a ship her tattoos glowing with ancient runes she, her gaze daring any who challenge her i'm gonna use the first one keep the images at one i'm gonna keep everything else the same let me say generate wow this came out really cool so it's a fearsome pirate it's a woman and she is piercing the horizon as her intricate runic tattoos glimmer in the moonlight. She holds two axes in her hands ready to defend her crew. As you see, I did not provide any of the information here. I use a very basic prompt inspired by the first line of this prompt. Let me change this to a male one though. So his gaze piercing, he holds two axes in his hands ready to defend his crew. So now you have the same prompt, but instead of female one, you have a male pirate. And now both of these can be used as a game asset. As you see, I just started from a simple prompt and I used the prompt generation tool to ideate an entire character set for a game. Let me try another creature this time. And this time I'm going to try a mythical minotaur. I'm not even going to say that it's wielding two axes. I'm just going to place it right here. And instead of going for two prompts, let me try 25 prompts. So I'm gonna just click ID8. Isn't this crazy? All I said was mythical minotaur and Leonardo AI is working to provide me 25 different prompt ideas on that. So if you do try 25, 
I'm trying it more for demonstration reasons. Sometimes it does fail if you try to get 25 different ideas for one simple thing. And if your simple prompt is actually pretty long, it might take longer and it might fail. But be patient with it. This is still very early, but I'm just blown away that you can get 25 different prompt ideas for a mythical minotaur. Let's go over some of them. A regal minotaur with majestic mane standing in a sun-drenched meadow. A fierce minotaur with menacing sore standing in a raging volcano. Well, I like that one. I'm going to keep that copied. A brave minotaur with determined look standing in a raging blizzard. A noble minotaur with proud stance standing in a moonlit desert. So what it's doing, it's changing the surroundings, it's changing its expressions, and it's changing the kind of minotaurs. So this is magical, this is graceful, this is noble, this is brave. So let me use the one that I copied. And, uh, and to clear this, I'm just going to go back and set reset to defaults, click paste. A fierce minotaur with a menacing roar standing in a raging volcano. I'm going to keep everything the same and I'm going to click generate. Very interesting. This came out more of as a photograph. Let me try another one. There you have it. A fierce minotaur with a menacing roar standing in a raging volcano. Personally, I can totally see this character in the video game. I'm going to do one last generation and this time I'm going to use this feature called Prompt Magic which is an experimental feature that they're still working on. I haven't used it much but I'm going to try to use it for this one. So I have a fierce minotaur with a menacing roar standing in a raging volcano using the Prompt Magic and this came out like a proper video game character. But I hope you got an idea of how the Prompt Generation section works. The only thing it's missing is a history section where I can go back to all the previous prompts that I generated. I do think this tool has a lot of potential if you can use it properly right now you can still get a thousand prompts a month for free so i would definitely recommend trying it out but i do hope you got some value from this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and click subscribe to my channel until my next video thank you so much